Hey all, my name is Laszlo Lever, welcome to my channel Coaching. Today I will show you how can you use Ergo CD with Helm. In my previous tutorials, we have successfully built a multi-docker container application. We used Node.js for backend, React for frontend and the Postgres SQL database. And uh, we have successfully deployed it to our Kubernetes cluster in my previous tutorial. So today I will show you how can you use Ergo CD, which is a declarative GitOps continuous delivery tool. And we will use Helm to declare Helm configurations uh, Helm, you know, is a package manager for Kubernetes and we will create an automatic deployment process which will deploy our multi-container application to Kubernetes cluster automatically through Ergo CD. So let's get started. Okay, here you can see the architecture of our application. We have an ingress nginx controller, load balancer, we have a Node.js backend, uh, React frontend, and the Postgres with the Postgres uh, PVC. It's a volume claim, persistent volume claim, basically. It stores the database data. And uh, you can see the relation between the components on this diagram. You can download the Kubernetes manifest files that we have created before in my previous tutorial under my video from my git repository. This will be the result of my current tutorial. Here you can see the user interface of Argo CD and you can see all the components here all deployed to the Kubernetes cluster. Everything is synchronized. The prerequisites of this tutorial is to run your own Kubernetes cluster on your machine. So you can find the installation instructions in my previous tutorial. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Okay, the first thing is to install the Helms command line tool. You can find it here. I will download it for my Windows. And please add the Helm executable to your environment variables. To be able to use Ergo CD, we will need for the Ergo CD CLI2. Here you can see the Ergo CD's uh, web page. Here is the installation section, and you will find here that how can you install the Ergo CLI. So here I need for the Windows version of the installation instruction. So here I used the command from the web page. I downloaded the Ergo CD executable and also you have to add this to your environment variables. Here you can see the Docker images we are going to use. These Docker images were built in my previous tutorials. And uh, we are using them in our Kubernetes manifest files. Okay, create an empty folder and run helm create argo test command there. So it will initialize your helm uh, application. Now please enter to the template folder and delete everything. And please download my git repository and from the k8s folder copy everything to the templates folder. So now we have an Argo test folder with Helm inside our main project folder. So now create your own git repository and please push everything to your repository. Now I'm going to open my current project in my VS code. Here it is. And uh, under templates, we can find our previously created uh, YML files, Kubernetes manifest files. Here, Helm created the values YML delete every variable because we are going to create our own ones. 
we, we are going to use only the replica count so please replace replicas one with our value replica count so we are using this values that replica count don't forget to put the dot before the values too the values is uppercase the v is uppercase basically and now you can see that we we replaced with our variable the value one in, in every uh, file we used replica count now i'm going to push my changes to the repository we will use this repository later in Argo CD, so it's very important to to use your own repository. Okay. Okay, now we are going to run some commands in uh, our PowerShell. So first, check our namespaces. QCTL get namespaces and create a new namespace named Argo test. This namespace will contains uh, will contain our uh, new uh, deployments. If you haven't installed Ingress Nginx controller, then please run this command. You can find this command on their website. You can find more details about this in my previous tutorial. And now let's install. Argo CD, you can find uh, the installation commands here and there on their website. So first create the namespace and after uh, that you can run this apply command to install Argo. We have to wait a little bit until the services are up and now I think Argo is running now we need the initial password to be able to log into Argo CD so run this command you can find it on their website and decode the password because it's in base 64 now please run the port forwarding command you can find it also on their website we need this to be able to access argo cd's uh, ui to our web browser here i don't specify the outside port before the 443 uh, because i would like to get the port the outside port from the command this is now 58880 now we can log in with our username and with the password we got before it's possible when you first run argo cd command it uh, requires to put another variable in your uh, invite into your uh, environments variable then do it now we are going to add our kubernetes cluster to the ergo cd's config so run ergo cd cluster add docker desktop docker desktop is my cluster now we can open localhost 58880 use your own port here and uh, we can access Argo CD's UI here. We can log in with admin and with your password. The first thing is to do here is to add your own Git repository to the Argo CD's config. So here, set up your own repository with your information. If you had the right values here, then Argo can connect to your Git repository. And now set up our application. The name will be Argo Multi Container App K8S. The project is default. 
we check in the auto create namespace. Here we can access our Git repository. Here we need the master branch and you can select your subdirectory subfolder which contains the Helm and here I tell that uh, I would like to use the docker desktop and my namespace will be Argo test. You can overwrite this replica count variable here on the UI and then you can overwrite any parameter. Now uh, press the create button and our application is uh, nearly ready. You can open it. You can see here that is out of sync now. Before synchronization we have to create a secret because I'm using a secret for the PostgreSQL. So in the correct namespace, please create a secret. So in the Argo test namespace, please run kubectl create secret command. The name of the secret is PG password and we have a key value pair PG's password and our password. Now we can synchronize our application. So please start the synchronization. And you can see here that uh, the synchroni synchronization process started. Now it's synchronized. We can open, for, for example, this client deployment. You can see here the logs. Here is our backend log, for example. Now we can open our application. Ingress Nginx controller runs our application on localhost with port 80. So you can test it here in your browser. It's working. Now I refresh and the value is coming from the database. So it's OK. OK, now we are going to define some new variables for the paths and for the ports, for example. So now in the values.yml file, we, we are going to define the paths. So we have a client path, which is this. So copy and paste it here and replace the path with the variable here. Okay. And now the, sorry, the name, I think it's better to name it as client and API. So paste the API's path here and now set up the ports. So create a new section here named ports and we have a client port and the server port. And here I have to set up my prettier to prevent it to place spacing between my brackets so so I turn it off and also I set print width to 200 and now it's correct so here I replace the port with the variable and here also I'm using the server's port and uh, I would like to replace them in the server cluster EP service config and also in the client cluster IP service config file too. It's just for testing purpose now. If you would like to then feel free to create other variables and replace the original values with your variables. 
here for example I replace my Postgre port and put it into my values YML2 is the default 5432 and uh, after that you have to push your changes to your remote repository you can set up your Argo CD to run the sync automatically after uh, it detects uh, changes on the repository but now we will start it manually so please click on the synchro synchronize again okay it's done so now every services are up to date so we can check it for example here you can see the produced YML, the final YML, here you can see that our variable is placed here variables value and now you can see here the parameters, all the parameters uh, coming from the values you can overwrite it, overwrite them and, and rerun the sync with the new values if you would like to so it's a cool, it's a cool tool I highly recommend it if you are using Kubernetes. It's a very, very nice continuous delivery tool. You can access your pets from here and open them. And I think that's all. That's all for now today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked my video, please Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will find many interesting videos on this channel in the future too. In my next video we will use a CI-CD pipeline to be able to connect to our Kubernetes cluster and start the deployment process from there. Thank you very much again, bye!